Hey everyone, it's Andy. Today, I'm going to be talking about two backpacks that are both similar yet different. They're made in the USA by very high quality craftsmen, and they're in the 26 liter size, something that can be good for an everyday carry or for travel. They're also made of very high quality materials, and they're the sorts of bags that you see people raving about online. What I'm talking about are the GORUCK GR1 and the Brown Buffalo Conceal Pack, both in the 26 liter size. Today, I'm going to be comparing the features of the bags to each other and then loading them up so that you can see what they might look like uh, with an example of items that you might carry with you. If you like content like this, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment. It really helps me out. Without further ado, let's get going. Now I'm going to compare each side of each bag, beginning with the exteriors, so you can get a sense for how they look compared to each other. Over here on the GORUCK, we start out with three rows of molly webbing for external attachments. We have this slash pocket, the zipper one, I'm going to go into the pockets a bit later. And we have this uh, small rectangle where you can attach a morale pouch. This is a loop velcro. We also have um, in the front the main compartment zippers uh, that you can see. Over here on the Brown Buffalo Conceal, we don't have too much going on. Down here, we have just a little patch with the Brown Buffalo logo on it. Kind of hard to see if you're far away. And we have a larger zip pocket. Going over to the sides now, on the GORUCK, we have three two-size groups of molly for attachment. Whereas on the Brown Buffalo, we have uh, the main zipper over there, but also I have uh, one little attachment right here if I want to put a clip on or something. The other side is pretty much the same, except over here we have a little Cordura fabric lab label. Both of these bags are in the 1000D Cordura fabric. And on the back, we have the shoulder straps on each of them. Uh, the GORUCK has the molly webbing down the length of the shoulder strap. The Brown Buffalo does not. However, it does come with a um, sternum strap. We also have some little labeling, the Brown Buffalo right here. And uh, these are clip removable shoulder straps. I'm not sure what these are useful for necessarily, but it's a cool feature to have. We also have on the GORUCK a laptop compartment right here. Um, this is their quote unquote bomb proof laptop compartment. It goes over at the angle and you can stick in your laptop. And on the Brown Buffalo, we have this large pocket over here, which on the inside features a large field of loop Velcro if you want to attach a vertical pocket. Uh, this one doesn't have any padding between it and the bottom whereas this is elevated off the bottom by about uh, half an inch. Also, the only exposed seam I can find in this bag is just right here uh, because we have a luggage pass-through handle, and that you can see on the inside. But all the other seams on all both bags are covered over completely. Going over to the front now, uh, I mentioned we have this slash pocket on the GORUCK. This goes all the way down to the depth. When the bag is full, it's a bit hard to get into, um, but if you need to just throw some stuff in, it works. Whereas on the Brown Buffalo, we have this large access vertical pocket um, that goes all the way up and down the front of the bag. And in here, we have two zipper vertical pockets, one up here and one down here, uh, that run the length of the bag cut in half if you need to stick something in. On the top, we have a grab handle. Uh, this is uh, some of the seatbelt style webbing folded over on itself. Pretty comfortable. And on the GORUCK, we have this slightly padded larger grab handle, um, which below it has some difficult to open Velcro where you can put a hydration bladder through. On the bottom of each bag, we don't have anything, but they are both padded, so contents on the inside should be all right if you set them down. Also, the GORUCK has a frame sheet in here, uh, which while it's not the stiffest, does keep it pretty sturdy. Whereas on the Brown Buffalo, there's some padding, but no such frame sheet, so I can bend it a bit more if I want. Next, I'm going to go take a look inside the bags. Starting over here, uh, we have the main compartment zipper on the GORUCK, 
these are all YKK zippers on each side, and these we have a nice big 10. Uh, and this is covered over by a piece of cordura to keep rain or debris out. Opening it up, we have a large main compartment. We have three more sets of molly looping and a large pocket where you can attach a notebook or a rock plate or a hydration ladder. Over here, we have the zippers on the outside. These are the YKK AquaGuard covered zippers. So while they might not be covered over with fabric like they are here, they're still gonna keep a lot out. And on the inside, we have this inner lining uh, to help protect the contents of the bag. On the back over here, uh, this bag actually has a whole field of loop Velcro, and mine came with this little attachment, which features in it a laptop compartment, this is a felt line, as well as a zipper pocket, and this clear mesh pocket. In addition to this insert uh, that came with the bag when they started releasing the V3 version of the Conceal Pack, uh, they currently sell it with no inserts at all, and you can purchase a laptop sleeve that has Velcro on the front so you can attach your own organization panel in front of it. But those are going to set you back an additional uh, price. On the inner lids now of each bag, the GORUCK has a zipper pocket here where you can't really see what's in it, followed by this larger mesh zipper pocket. These each have a decent volume for you to stick stuff in. On the brown buffalo, we have a mesh pocket up top, this practice empathy tag, one of their company models, mottos, as well as this made in the USA ticket, so that you know for sure the bag's made over here. Also on the GORUCK, this uh, has the label here, GORUCK GR1, built in the USA. Down here we have two larger pockets. Um, these are sort of dump pockets, good for a water bottle or a pouch, uh, where you can stick things in. We also have a little clip here on the inside if you want to attach something, uh, like some keys or a pouch. If we take a look at how the bags open, the GORUCK is what people call a full clamshell, where it hinges all the way at the bottom and the zippers even go down there, so you can really access everything easily. The conceal pack, on the other hand, has about um, an inch or two before the bottom where the zippers stop. So while you still get pretty much easy access to everything, there's still a chunk over here uh, where you can store stuff that isn't going to be as easy to fall out or as accessible as it would be in the go rack. On the go rack, we have their quote unquote silent zipper pulls, which is uh, some cord with some heat shrink tube around them. Whereas on the brown buffalo, we have uh, the standard YKK zipper pull with some paracord there. And it can jangle if you want, but overall it's not too noisy. Now I'm gonna load these bags up with some of the items that I would carry with me, either day to day or on a travel situation, so you can get a sense for how they might work for you. Starting over here with the GORUCK, I'm gonna begin by putting into the laptop compartment this 13 inch MacBook Air. It just fits in there easily. These bags don't have too much inner organization, uh, but when they do, I'm gonna stick up top here a pen. Stick this notebook in the front pocket here. And then I'm gonna load it up with some of my pouches. This is my GORUCK wired up, where I put my cables that I use from the day to day. I have this little um, pouch with some wipes and some lotion and some hand sanitizer. I call it my sanitation bag. This is one of the uh, Tom Ben 3D organizer cubes. I can stick that up front. And I'm also gonna put with it these two armbands. I'm going to put my umbrella, hairbrush, and the crossball just down at the bottom. Large camelback chute. This is the um, 32 ounce or one liter size. And then I have this tule pouch that I'm going to stick on top with my headphones. And you see, I've got a lot of room here. So I'm also going to stuff my Patagonia Better sweater right on top. And now I can zip this up. Uh, the bag can fit a bit more than this, but now I put it on. Now, I just showed you what it was like filled with some EDC items, 
but I'm going to stick in some packing cubes as if I was traveling with it so you can get a sense for how that is. Here I have uh, the two size Peak Design packing cubes, the medium and the, the small, and those fit in uh, pretty perfectly right there. Uh, I just have these filled with a few towels, they're not stuffed to the max. So on top of those, I can still try to get in my water bottle, my cables, uh, laptop is in the back, and just because it's dangerous outside, I'm going to take my little sanitation kit in here too. Um, and you can see that the bag is more than willing to accommodate all of these items. Now, I'm going to empty all this stuff out, and I'm going to fill the brown buffalo with similar items so you can get a sense for how that would load. All right, so loading those same items in the brown buffalo bag. First, I'm going to stick that pen in the pen pocket of this attachment. I'm going to put the laptop in the laptop pocket. Now, I could put this in the back, but because this is elevated on the inside, I think this will be a bit safer for the computer. I'm also going to put my notebook in the front here. And I'm going to stuff this right up against this Velcro panel. It goes in and it's pretty secure. Over in the front, I'm going to take my large liter water bottle, stick that right in there. I'll put the umbrella and the hairbrush in this other pocket. And then I'm going to take my lacrosse ball, put it on the bottom. I'll probably stick these arm braces just on the bottom as well. And then I'll put in some of these pouches, cables, headphones, and the um, sanitizer kit. This is, uh, you know, because it's split with on the top and the bottom, sticking in a lot of pouches like this doesn't necessarily fit as easily as the Go Rock, uh, but we still have plenty of room. So if I want to put in my better sweater, I can, and it zips up just fine. And here's what the bag looks like on me. I'm about 5'9", uh, 140 pounds, for reference. All right, now to load this up with the packing cubes. I still have my laptop in this inner pocket because uh, I want to see how that fits. But we got the, um, the larger size, the medium cube, and the smaller size. Because the, um, the depth of this pocket is split between the top and the back, it's not as easy to sort of fit them in as it was on the GoRock. Um, but I still want to try to get in like the water bottle and the sanitation pouch. And I can close this with a little bit of finagling around the corners. Just fine. You'll notice that this is a much more round corner than on the go rock. This is a more square shape, but this nice round makes it a bit harder to fill it up all the way with the packing cubes. Also, as a note, both of these bags are completely empty. We have the brown buffalo standing on its own, but the goat ruck tends to tip forward. However, filled up with a laptop in the back and a bunch of stuff in the main compartment, the goat ruck does stand on its own. As I mentioned earlier, both of these bags are phenomenally made uh, in the USA by hand. They're both from companies based in the US. Go Ruck was founded by Jason McCarthy back in 2006. He's an ex-Special Forces officer, and his main concern was making something that would look cool and be functional both in the city or on the field. The Go Ruck GR1 comes in at $295 for the USA-made version of the bag. They also have a slightly discounted Vietnam version for $265. They're both exceptional quality, but if you want that made in the USA tag, you gotta pay the extra money. It weighs, according to the GoRuck website, 3.2 pounds, and the exterior dimensions are 11.5 width, 18 inches height, and 5.5 inches in depth. It also comes with a lifetime warranty. If there are any uh, problems with the bag, you can send it in, and GoRuck will fix it up right there. This is one of the best warranties in the business.
The Brown Buffalo Bag was founded by Douglas Davidson, an expert veteran bag maker who has worked for companies like Nike, Adidas, and the North Face, uh, and many more, designing their backpacks. It comes in at the same price, $295, and the dimensions, according to the Brown Buffalo website, are 2.5 inches width, 20 inches high, and 6.5 inches depth. It also has a listed weight of 3.6 pounds, so a bit heavier than the Go Ride. Sadly, the Brown Buffalo recently announced that they would be closing their doors and going out of business soon. October 15th is the last day that the company is going to be around. So if you can find one of these in stock, you're going to have to move fast. I actually ended up getting both of these bags secondhand, but I think they're both very good. In conclusion, the Brown Buffalo Conceal Pack and the GoBro GR1 are both exceptionally made bags. They do have their stylistic and functional differences that may impact whether or not you want one or the other. The Gorak bag has a much more tactical feel with the molly webbing on the front, sides, and interior. So if that's the sort of vibe you want to be wearing or you want to attach certain exterior pockets to it, you might want to lean towards this bag. The Brown Buffalo Conceal Pack, on the other hand, is even named the Conceal Pack because it doesn't have any of these flashy exterior things. It's a very streamlined design, made from high quality materials, but intended not to be noticed on someone's back if they're walking through the herd. It has a bit of a different interior organization, and it has Velcro for customization instead of the molly panels that we do on the GoRock. I would say that these are both bags worth wearing. Personally, if I were doing a one bag travel, I'd probably gear towards the GoRock just because it's easier for me to fit in my large packing cubes and I don't tend to travel with a lot of stuff individually spaced. But for EDC, I do like those interior water bottle pockets that we have over here, where I can stick things in, water bottle, pouches, whatever, and know that they're not going to get jostled around too much on the inside. If you like content like this and want to see more, please subscribe to my channel, smash the like button on the video, and leave a comment below. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you very much for watching, and have a good day.